My grandfather started the business. Um, it was a two-lane dirt road, Utica, um, kind of out in the sticks back then. Um, so that was 1945, and over the years, uh, you know, we've added on to, I believe it's 13 times now. Um, so we've just kind of grown, uh, grown in the, but it's still the original location. My dad was started working here when he was about eight years old, you know, after school. Um, you know, it was a small mom and pop family business. So as times evolved, as my dad took over the business, um, there's not much farming around here anymore. So he kind of evolved into the power equipment. We got rid of the feed and fertilizer. And that's one thing my dad really recognized is to, to look at what the customer's needs are and to change to meet those needs. Well, it's been a huge legacy. You know, my grandfather started and my dad really uh, took it to kind of the next level. You know, he really was a, just a brilliant businessman and he saw opportunities in uh, the power equipment dealerships. You know, a lot of people look at it as a, a lawnmower shop. So he built quite a legacy. Um, and uh, so now it's, you know, up to the, you know, our family to carry it on. And, and we're fortunate we've got to see brothers and sisters involved in the business. And now the next generation, you know, some of, uh, some of our kids are getting involved. And we've got a lot of key employees that are really helping us continue that legacy. So it is still very much a, a family business. Um, um, really nothing's changed from what it was. It's just, just bigger and we've got you know, a lot of key employees that we really look at as family that are, you know, really help us as, we, as we've grown. Names on the building, so we want to make sure that the customer experience um, is what we would want if we were when we're shopping. So whether they need a part or if they have a service issue, to try to resolve it to the best of our abilities. And the family is still, even though we've grown to five locations, we're still very hands-on, involved with our employees to try to continue to improve those processes and, uh, and just provide a great experience for our customers. Well, he, uh, he believed in it and instilled in us, um, you know, having a successful business is an arm to help do more to help the, the community. You know, we've been very fortunate and blessed with the support of the community and our, and our business has, has done very well. So we always, he always felt it was important to give back give back to the community, to those, those less fortunate. They're huge shoes to fill, and I don't think we can really fill the shoes, but, uh, but he instilled those, those things in us to, you know, um, to, to give back where you can, um, and, um, and, and we know how blessed we are, so, so we try to do as much as we can. We kind of look at it as a two-way street. The community has been very supportive of us over the years and really have helped us grow into what we are today. And uh, so we try to give back where we can to try to support the, the local organizations wherever we can to, to help them out as well. We were involved with the Pope John Paul Cultural Center. So we went out for uh, when they opened the cultural center and he was able to meet, meet with uh, uh, the president at that time. Um, it actually was kind of a neat, it was kind of a field trip. All of, uh, all of his kids and grandkids all loaded on a bus and we all went down for the opening of the cultural center. So it was a, it was a great experience. The Pope, uh, you know, my dad's been a very devout Catholic, so it was, you know, really one of the greatest honors of his life. Um, so yeah, he was fortunate to meet, meet both, and, um, and uh, I know he's, he talked about it for years. It was a great experience for him. The community has been such a big part of my dad's and our whole family's life, so it's just, just a huge honor to be recognized. Because of the community support, I mean, we're, you know, we're established. Um, we've done a lot for the community, and they've done a lot for us. Um, and, um, and Utica, it's been a great location for us. So yeah, there might be a better spot, but, uh, but this is our home. Um, and as we look, as we've added the other four locations, then we do all the, the market research that tells us the best place to be. But uh, in general, I don't think we could have, uh, I think my grandfather kind of uh, must have knew something because it's been, a, it's been a great location for us. I don't, I don't think we could have done any better.